Welcome to the Webby and O'Neill channel. Plenty to talk about. Ronaldo, Bruno, the partnership for Portugal doesn't always hit it off. Will they hit it off here? We'll be discussing that. And also, Fred, UEFA, FIFA, whoever, they're banning him. Plenty of players being banned. Will it happen? It looks that way. But before we start, Tony, I want to thank everyone. 35,000 subscribers. Thank you. thank you. When we sat here that first day, you know, we never thought we'd get that. We've done it for just to chat and meet up really through yeah. lockdown but no, hey thank true. you very much keep liking the videos keep watching the videos we'll have more great ones throughout the season and enjoy the ride we're talking about a good laugh Webby we've got all the subscribers fantastic we've got some fans interviewed good chat with him and also a good laugh that's who we are correct but Webby yeah. first thing here the partnership for the national side Ronaldo and Bruno doesn't always seem to work out will it work out here yeah, I think it will do, Tony. I just think, obviously, in the Euros, he didn't have a great start. Probably could he played that much football. He was tired, you know. He wasn't in the team. Played well the other night when Ronaldo wasn't playing. I don't think it's a problem. I think it'll click, you know what I mean, Tony? It's just one of those things. Some times it clicks, sometimes it doesn't. But I think it will work here. I really do. I think an intelligent player is only going to work better with Ronaldo in the team. So, yeah. he will start Saturday. Uh, so will Ronaldo now. And uh, I'm looking forward to it, Tony. Talking about the team, McTominay doesn't look as though he's playing. Matic, is he it, coming into play? It looks that way, doesn't it? You know, he spoke highly of him uh, the other week, saying he's doing well. So I expect Matic to come in if Fred obviously remains banned and Scott don't make it. But you know what you get with Matic? He's steady, he's on the ball. I like him, some people don't. But then does Van der Beek come in, you know what I mean? He's... He's worried that he could get into the starting eleven, So it's a great, it's an hard one for Ellie, but it's also a great one, you know, all these plays. To be honest, I've got this sneaky feeling that so many plays. Sneaky he's been back, feeling. He's back in training, you know. Let's see, he's a young lad, naturally fit lad. So yeah. let's see what happens. But the 11 who start out there, they've got to be on the ball because if they don't, there's that many sat in the stands and on yeah. the bench who are going to be jumping straight in. It's a game you want to be in. Newcastle, my prediction is they're going down. They're going to play five at the back, four in the midfield, Webby, and one up front. So Matic's playing. Shouldn't really be a problem. You're right what you're saying, Tony, about that. They're just going to come here. People are forgetting about, obviously, the hysteria about Ronaldo all week, that we're playing Newcastle, who are under pressure, like you're saying. They've only bought one player in the kid from Arsenal. They've got an owner who do not want to be there. The fans are all crazy that they want him out. It looked like they were going to be bought out and it never happened. Yeah. And they're under pressure, so it's going to be patience, you know. It's it's that we don't start panicking if we don't score in that first 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Be patient, we need someone to open that door. Because like you're saying, they're just going to pack the defence and hopefully try and get someone on the break. I think it'll be a tight game because I do believe Newcastle are going to sit there and do a West Ham job and by building a brick wall. I believe 2-0. Webby? You could be right there, Tony. You know, if we get the early goal, I think their confidence is just going to hit rock bottom. You know, we've, like you're saying, it's going to be hard. Don't expect goals to be flying in all over. But I expect us a 4 1 victory, Tony. And I expect that me and you will be sat here Saturday night with egg on our face with that goal scoring. Let me know what you think. I'm going to try and interview some fans about Saturday's game. And I'm also going to try and get them to do Ronaldo's goal scoring celebration. Binzi, you're here all the time. Since Ronaldo signed, what's it been like round here? Tell us all. Tony, bigger than Elvis, bigger than Webby and O'Neill, bigger than the Beatles. It's been mental. As big as anything you've seen I here never, at Old Trafford? I have never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it, the way them shirts are flying, scarves, shirts. They can't, they've run out of shirts in there. They, they can't get them quick enough. Binzi. They're not like you. You'll never run out of scarves, though, will you? Hey, I'm here every game. Just come and look for me. Dino's here with us. Stockport, lad. First thing, Ronaldo. Is he going to start on Saturday? I think he'll start on the bench. On the bench? Definitely. And if he comes on, what position? Striker. Yeah, I think we'll definitely start. He's been back in training, came back training this week. I think the squad to start. There's still people coming in as well from international families and stuff, and qualifiers. So I think he's got that time now if he's had to at least start the game. Ronaldo's here. It's absolutely massive. Some people say it's bigger than Elvis him coming here. But listen, he's here. Do you think he'll start on Saturday? Um, I don't think he'll start. I think he'll come on in the second half. as maybe an impact sub. And yeah, probably nick a goal. So goal on his debut. So, or second debut. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully he does start though. But I don't think so. Alex, what's, what's your opinion? Will he start or not? Yeah, he'll definitely start, 100%. <laughs>
Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, he's always match fit, isn't he? Who's going to benefit, Mets, from Ronaldo's arrival? I think Mason Greenwood will will uh, benefit from him because of his positioning and uh, his striking abilities. And uh, I think the score will be like maybe 4 0. Who do you think is going to benefit most from Ronaldo being here at this club? Okay, like how the class of 92 benefited from Eric Cantona. I think it's going to be Mason Greenwood and the younger boys getting benefited from Ronaldo back here, especially with the work ethic and the fitness regime that he brings in. Ronaldo's arrival, who's going to benefit the most in this squad with him being here? I think the team will benefit the most. Uh, I think Mason Greenwood will learn from him, like he's learned from uh, Cavani. Uh, I think he'll just be the general buzz around the team with him, the presence of him being in the team. All the young players, what we've got behind, Alanga, lots of others coming through on, under, on the under-23s. They're all going to buzz off him, surely, Dino. Damn right, damn right, especially in training. He'll just like, he'll light up the training ground, won't he? Happy days, I'm buzzing. He's been described as arriving here that it's bigger than Elvis. Of course it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course it is. I mean, I've just been in there. There's no shirts. Just says it all, doesn't it? There's a buzz around Old Trafford, isn't it? Who's going to benefit most from his arrival? Well, from the most, I think the young youngsters will definitely benefit the most. Uh, talking about Greenwood, uh, talking about Ahmed as well. I think they'll definitely benefit the most from him. Learn from him. Be professional as well with him. You know, he's going to come to training on time or even earlier. Um, he'll be very disciplined. I think they'll learn that and they'll take that on board because want to be the best player in the world. You've got to you know, follow the best player as well. And he's doing that. What position is he going to play? Uh, I reckon he'll go up top. Wambasaka, Luke Shaw, feeding the balls in. Uh, try, and get, try and get him a headed goal. So, I reckon up front. What position, if he comes on, what do you think it'll be? Come on. He, well, he's got to be up front, but I could put him anywhere. Just, I'd say, do get out there and do what you do best. Bang them goals in. Score prediction, Saturday. What do you think it is now? Well, uh, Obviously, I want a big, big number as much as I can, but I think I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to play a bit smart. I'm going to say 3-0, uh, but I know one of the f***ing, sorry, one of the long stuff, but when I'm scoring, you know, the always I'm scoring against us. But I'm going to say 3-0 because I don't want to, you know, put my uh, predictions too high, but I I, I think we'll smash out. A win's a win. 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 That's all I want. A win's a win. At the moment, it's all about getting points and getting the fitness back from everybody who's coming back from internationals. But with the survival, I think that place is going to be buzzing, going to be bouncing in there. It's going to be really, really mad atmosphere. We've done for years. What's your prediction for the game? It's going to be 3 0 and with Ronaldo scoring. And uh, yeah, I'm not fit enough to do the Ronaldo celebrations. <laughs> you can't do the Ronaldo celebrations. You've got to if he's going to score. He's a model professional alpha male, I'm not, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you, top man, top man. Ronaldo's going to score Saturday. Come on, lads. What's his celebration goal like? Come on, show me. Come on, which one's doing it? <laughs> Come on, young fella, you can do it. There you go, hey, come here, listen. Tremendous. <laughs> you know his iconic move when he scores a goal. Can you do it? No. Can I, Ek? Dino, I asked you. And I told you. You're not having it, are you? I'm a f <laughs> If Ronaldo comes on, Mets, and scores, he has a goal celebration. Can you do it? Uh, no. No, we, we all know how, how he would celebrate, but <laughs> I, I, I won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> he has a celebration. Yeah. Can you do it? Yeah, of course. Go on, son. <laughs> Binzi, I know you're not as young as you used to be with your dancing shoes on. Can you do Ronaldo's dance when he scores? Watch this, so I move that fast. Did you see that? Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs>